All right, now we're going to shoot a 150 grain ELDX out of a 7mm08. This block is a little dark. I've recasted it a few times. I take samples from them and recalibrate it to make sure they're holding true. But each time you recast them, they seem to get a little darker and darker. Hopefully this shows up well. There's my bubble. Awesome. find where I put my tape measure at. So with that one, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it on the camera. But it starts its mushrooming. You know, you can't really see it through the gel there, but at just, just about a half an inch, you're carrying that aggressive wound channel. Come on, tape measure, stay where you need to be. To the 12 inch mark, leading edge of that bullet is 22 and 3 quarters. I got little tears on all the sides of my blocks and they're six by five and a half definitely definitely did a beautiful job pop this bolt out quick and that my friends is what a bullet should look like losing enough weight that it dumps that extra energy actually in the animal in its chest cavity. Too high a weight retention isn't good. Too little isn't good either. But that is great penetration. Very happy with what that bullet did. I'll test them another day at a, a slow velocity to see what kind of range I can take that gun out to. Velocity of that bullet was 27.63 on impact. That's the 150 grain ELDX out of the 7mm weight.